The Rooted in Love Show, life spoken from the roots of those who adapt to reach the sunlight. We stay rooted in love, we stay grounded, we get our strength from above. Welcome back to the Rooted in Love show with Tim Robinson, boys. We got the big homie Jerry Jones and my pros. We got Emmett here, Mario here. We yeah. chopping it up. Yes, sir. Mr. Jerry Jones. We, yes, we learned a lot about you. We uh, we've been hearing about you in your middle school. You know, the thing I'm getting out of just sitting with you is that. You you kind of sound like a, a a star, like like a star player. Like yeah, he ain't want to he ain't want to like he he be on right now. This, this you, you said you hit you said you hit forty points in a game. I'm trying to you get him to child. understand that. I ain't never seen that. Like when we was balling, I hit about seven points, but he couldn't tell me nothing. Get me a few shots in. I was I was <laughs> true. <laughs> He's talking about forty. So yeah. yeah. was you like one of those ways you were letting us show him? Like no, no, I just. Or you just did, you just Cole, I think Cole used to tell me if, if, if you think it's a good shot, shoot it. Right. Like every time they swing the ball to me, you, you better go get a rebound because I'm shooting it. <laughs> I'm like, so, <laughs> so what's it? Kobe Bryant. What's it going with? What's it going with? No, I'm like, I wasn't never going to show them. I just, you know, just yeah. get my punk, go back on defense. Get my punk. Okay. But I play defense though, so okay, yeah. a lot of steel and everything. So you know, I I, I think I then when, then when I started doing a lot of fast break. Yeah. So you pretty much understood what it was. Mm -hmm. match. When you get into the game situation, you understood the the the, the back and forth. The, yeah, that's what right. it was all about. That's yeah. what I was. Did you watch a lot of basketball? A lot of, a lot of, and like I said, a lot of time by yourself. And you know, uh, you you learn a lot to yourself and do stuff by yourself. Okay. Right. So when they down there doing the football, you gonna play football? And I said, y'all know I ain't playing no football. You ain't hit me on the street. So you never tried out football? I made for matter of fact. Let me go back. Uh, before we moved to Maryland, I played the Kennesaw Generals. Try that. Oh, oh man. Hey, stay on oh, Kennesaw oh, Generals. Kennesaw oh, Generals. I made, I made running back. That's oh, horrible, man. I was the second fastest on the team. My mom used to drop me off, and uh, I'm coming back to get you. I was second fast, so I went home. My cousin was older than me, and uh, you know they went through the program. They was a Kennesaw. They said, oh, that's good. You know, I'm thinking my daddy ain't there, so okay. y'all right. come see me and eat the same thing. Right. Everybody's daddy, dad, mine wasn't there, so I think I took practice. Yeah. I quit. Right. Yeah, we a lot of people wow. don't think about that. Back in the day, it was a daddy thing. Now you got yeah. crazy mom. Yeah, it was a daddy. Field. Everybody yeah. daddy, you knew it. I was second yeah. fast. Daddy was leaning on the fence. Man, man, you know, you almost messed up our long time friendship, <laughs> man. You know, we, <laughs> yeah, we made it to the title. Yeah. We made it to the smart, smart road run. So we done got a Kennesaw General sitting there. Yeah, I'm smart. Y'all know what y'all can call y'all. Smart town. town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, y'all know, went from wheel tight there. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, my dad was there. It wasn't the same. Uh, I, I think, like I said, I quit. Coach said, well, you, you running back. And my cousin said, oh, we we good. I said, no, you ain't need no. I ain't playing this. Really? So I told my mom, I'm going to quit. She said, I don't care. He probably been good. He sounded like that. You yeah, I know, right? He sounded like yeah. an natural athlete. She's like, some kids I just, just got yeah. it. I Everybody there with that, my, you know, I'm standing up by myself. The daddy, <laughs> team, no, do this and do that. And I'm just standing up by myself. You know, I just, that feeling right there, I just couldn't do it. I right. tell you, probably, you natural athlete, like, Understand, looking at how you understood the game that early with basketball. Oh, they they told me, get the ball and run. Don't let them hit you. And I said, oh, okay. And those type of guys I look for in my squad, I know I can put them in this sport. Oh, yeah, football, yeah. Oh. You know. But when, yeah, I, when, I, got, when I got that basketball in my hand, it's like open up a, you know, I ain't think about nothing. I just shoot. Real. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Dribble, shoot, dribble, so shoot. So where did you go to real school at again? Mary Junior. Mary Junior. Junior High. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, you old. Mayor of the Eagles. You, you right. old. Sure got the Mayor of the Eagles. I'm saying, was, yeah. that, was, yeah. that, was Mayor of the like Atlanta, where I know Atlanta high school would go from like 7th grade to 12th? No, we just had, uh, uh, oh, oh. Or they had a 6th Junior high. high. Junior high school. Okay. All and you know, Pine, Pine, Pine Forest was here. Mayor of Junior High was here. Yeah. But you had to pay Mayor of Junior High to get to Pine Forest. Gotcha. Same thing. Walk, walk Pine Forest and walk Mayor of Junior High. Okay. So everything, it's, it's, it's amazing. Everything was right in the same area. Like you just grow up from, from the project. You don't have to go nowhere. No, not from the project. Yes, but if you yeah. think about it, like worldwide, we hear the same story. Like they say kids in the project grow up in this square mile radius and a lot yeah. of them never leave that radius. Three, four, mm -hmm. five blocks or so. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, Mary, Mary are different. People think Mary Rudd is Kyle County. They're two separate. Yeah. Really two, yeah, two separate. They got their own thing. Yeah, because when, when, when it's snowing, we look and see Mary City School. 
When Kyle Cannon said they were home, if Mary City School didn't say it, you going to school. Yeah, you got to walk in school. Yeah, yeah, city, yeah. So they don't know yeah. about the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Bus ain't going to be on the road. <laughs> right. So that was, junior high was great. Junior high taught me a lot. So that might be why, uh, like, I, you hear it now. Like, you from May Rutter. You from May Rutter. May Rutter. That was, because it was so, even now today, it's still so tight. Now I see how that it's, brotherhood, yeah. everybody I see in the streets and at the games and stuff, that brotherhood. That, oh, that yeah. Because it's kind of in the middle of. See, I tell you, people now, they're different now because. They claim it's wrong. Ain't no animal project. I don't think that is the circle. Yeah. Right. Circle, I don't think that. Well, Kennesaw Village, but, you know, they'll change that name, but. Yeah. You know, they'll tow down Louisville, they don't tow down Lemon Street. Gone. Clay Home gone. Everything yeah. fancy on them. Street, Everything man. gone. Everything yeah. we know, man. The one we grew up with on the other side, gone. Yep. Thank you, boy. Home. Yep. So, so, how so they tell, I'm telling everybody, it's different because when we played, uh, we can go to every project and play basketball. Somebody had to go somewhere. Yeah. And everything was in walking distance. So when you transition, so you go from middle school to high school. And um, so you naturally go to Marietta High School? Like, I don't think I went nowhere else. Right. Yeah. But but that was, was, yeah. Did coaches try to recruit back then? They no, not no way. And that's what they didn't do back then. So how, you, okay. how it went down? How did the thing go down? To, to start the story of Jerry Jones in high school. The, the Marietta legend. How, how did that story start? Yeah. That's a good question. You know, uh, yeah, I think I put my hard work in. And everybody that know, I talked to one of my friends in that, uh, last, what, is it? last week, Lil James, uh, James Howard. We were talking about old days and how we just played. All we didn't want to do was play basketball. Right. We didn't want to do nothing. We weren't getting in no trouble. We weren't doing nothing. All we want to do is play basketball. Y'all been strictly for the love of the game. That's, That's it. Right there. That's yeah. it. It's hard to find. Yeah, you don't hear that a lot. And we went, and, and the group that we had, we went everywhere. So we, we used to go to, uh, Rose Garden. Okay. The boys in Rose Garden said they were doing this. My other boys come and get y'all. Yeah, and we gonna see who the best. So we used to go everywhere and play basketball. That's why I walk, walk down there. That's, that's all we did. That, that, and that's yeah, all we did. Wow. Okay. So how was the competition at the school? So so I'm I'm thinking y'all were making cuts. Yeah. Was the struggle? Was everybody still in the project in the same struggle? Same. Now, we had a lot of people. As far as financially, y'all still. Yeah. Yeah. We had a lot of people that didn't try for school ball. Uh, one of the one of my best friends, uh, Gene Moss, never played school ball in his life. Yeah, he was a baller. A baller. See, I was like that. That's why I asked yeah. you how do you transition Never to play. coach. Never played. He, he I, just didn't, he, I, he, I, didn't I, want, he didn't want to try. He he just said that uh he didn't want to go and somebody had to tell him that he can make a team. Right. So he didn't never try for it. Now his yeah. son is a uh, big dog. His son is playing for the uh, development league in the NBA for Charlotte. Okay. Oh yeah. So he he, he him and his brother, Tim Mark, both of them were superstars. I always tell people, you can get look at your favorite NFL, NBA player, whatever. It's always somebody in the hood who's 10 times better. Yeah. They just never. And, we, and then we got the, 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 uh, go a little bit. We, we had a men's league. We won back to back state championship in our men's league. What? And both of them played. Yeah, we state championship in the men's league. Okay. So wow. they didn't never play, but uh, growing up, and you know, and a lot of them then had grades. So yeah. knowing them, you know, if you didn't make great, you weren't playing. Right. So a lot of them was on that borderline of passing and failing, so they didn't even try out. So Coach was showing up straight with that. Yes, sir. So what was that ninth grade transition like coming in? Was that it, it wasn't hard. Like, it wasn't hard because uh, I didn't play freshman. I moved up to JB. Yeah, that's so, what I was going to ask so you. Yeah. yeah, I didn't play freshman. I was going to ask well, Yeah, he yeah, like that ain't nothing. I know, right? I, I yeah. moved up. I played, well, I take that back. I played one game, and the freshman coach was my science teacher. Okay. So he, he said, well, you know, you try out. You know, you got to try out. You was good in eighth grade, but it's different. So I'm playing basketball with basketball, you know. So I played one game and then Coach Ryder, rest in peace, say, uh, no, you going to play JV. They got their coach. No, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, you talking real right. fast. You played one one game. Impressive. What happened in the one game? Was it that? What was it? How was it? It was all right. I had a good game. I had a good game. I had a bad game. Had a good game. Well, what's a good game for you? Good game for you different from you. Did, you no, just my first, first game, I think I had 18 points my first, first game. 18? 18 good, points. Good game for us. Like, I, I got three But five. I like it because, you know, you're playing in front of Boston. My both so, yeah. So, doing in, you know, you're playing in front of Boston. You know, first game probably at 4 o'clock. Boston played at 8. Right. But all the Boston that watching you. Yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah, I, that's I cool had a good game. I had, I had, I had right. 18 points my first and then I moved up to JV. And play JV. You know, that's like, I'm all right. You get it in. Cause I'm thinking like, we're coming through it. You, you gotta make cuts. You got, you got trials. Subscribe to the Rooted in Love.
Love Show for weekly updates and free giveaways. You got you got trial, and then I'm thinking in the city of Maryville, they got balls over there. Yep. Now, I yep. heard, well, I didn't see all of them, but I saw some of them. To, yeah. to go from the freshman to the JV, how soon was it from JV to you start playing on the varsity squad? I, I played whole year JV. Okay. Whole year JV. And so my, I played varsity 10th, 11th, 12th. Oh, wow. Okay. So I don't, I don't, I don't want to skip nothing because we about to get to the, I feel like we about to get to the good part. Get to the meetup. We about to get to the good part of, of, of what was going on out there on that basketball court. Because Marietta yeah. had a name for us. We knew that. On the other side of the Marietta always had this we knew. respect. When now, we, we tell people that Kyle County could nobody see us. Yeah. yeah. Them, 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 uh, now, that's real. a good friend. Dundee, Dundee Flemish, McKeesha okay. Ball, they couldn't see us. Mm-hmm. Uh, Campbell with Leon, right. Leon Hunt, they couldn't right. see us. So, couldn't nobody see us. Only team that really showed us that we was Eric with them Griffin Balls. Okay. And when Hancock and them came down here, he let you know that y'all ain't ready for us. Who, now they got to tell about real quick, Darren Hancock. The, to me, 1990, the 90s, he had to be the baddest man in the state of Georgia. Really? Hand down. 6'6", six, six, and he ran track. He ran a four. Oh, three, fast. Six, 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 with hey, man. Man. He went to a uh, junior college, he wound up going to Kansas University. He left Kansas, played with the Charlotte Hornets, then he played with Hawks on Okay. But he was the... Uh, in my opinion, the baddest thing in the state of Georgia. I don't, I, mean, I, I don't watch a lot of basketball. Right. But when he came, when we played him at Mary River. We went in out of school and had a line. People ready. To ready play. to get their ticket to see him play. Wow. Uh, hot ticket. Yeah, he was bad. But first game, they beat us by three. Oh, now he had to beat us by three. I was going to say, they ain't just run through y'all, man. Nah, nah, you, you playing at guard. Right. We got we had part at the at the National Guard after that, you know, for blow us out. <laughs> but he was bad though. He probably had six dunks. He bad. Okay. Then at Griffin, they beat us by ten up at Griffin, but you know, they got a big old college scene. We ain't never seen nothing like that. Right. So yeah. it wasn't bad. So y'all got to travel down there? Yeah, we went down there. That was big, uh, that was Yeah, we big. played him twice a year. You know, come from the hood. Oh yeah, big, when you walk in a big old college scene and you looking around like, oh my god. That's the one thing I did, like about, even though I was athletic, I played sports because they did. And it, it really gave me the chance to travel and go places with them. I was just glad to be in the van, or <laughs> the bus, and just go with them. Oh, no. I, I, I'm hearing your story. It, it, it just shows that, like, basketball just really saved your life. Basketball it did. kept you grounded. It did. And so, then going through school uh, from uh, playing varsity, you know, you had a big stage now. So you had 10th grade playing varsity, and Coach Tudor is one of my best friends. So, you know, he retired from here. But he was there. 29, 30 years. What? He got yeah. two state championships, but uh, they were one of my best friends. So he's telling me, you know, you got a big state. You can go to school. You just do, you know, keep doing it. So I'm thinking, right. like, okay. And he was a, a father figure, you know. Oh, good. So uh, going through that, I said, uh, I tried. So I actually got better and better. Start playing punk ball. And they were telling me, man, you playing punk ball? You know, you don't like pass ball. <laughs> right. I said, nope, I don't. So <laughs> that was a big adjustment playing punk, but, uh, I think that was the best thing to have back. Why, back why say. Gives, you these, gives you leadership skills, though, because yeah. you, you kind of got a guy yeah, to command the whole oh, oh, yeah. floor. You're yeah. the whole oh, yeah. floor. Yeah, and I played, people come believe I played punk. Yeah, I played punk ball. What, what was your break? You would say your breakout year, or if you had one. Because we, yeah, what was your breakout year in high school, you think? I probably grew the game. I was, I, I call myself, I guess I was an expert player, player. You know, uh, playing against all kinds, I might have 29, 30. Spray ground might have fought it, you know. Right. Uh, that's average. And, yeah, going through them, you know. We're talking about average big ball. That's what, yeah. that's what it meant. Well, playing at Griffin, big ball tail was at the game, and, you know, the game televised. And, uh, well, mama, Dickie B there, you know Dickie you got the ball out. So, oh, mama, so yeah, this where you going to see where you at. All these people at the game. Right. I think I went down that third time, and Hancock threw my shot in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, woo! If they don't know who Dickie B is, uh, if he had a game, you better be. So you knew the magnitude of that game when y'all went. Mm-hmm. They were ranked number one and uh, we were probably 12, 13 and 0. But we we beating everybody around him. Yeah. But when they put Griffin on that, they said, you know, this is a national game. You get to see, but uh, I had 29 that game against Griffin. Oh, and still, yeah, like, he said, you know, average. That probably helped make you, though, get they, on that they, national they, stage. They coach shook my hand. They, they coach shook my hand and said, you know, if you keep going, you got a good game. 
So from I think from then on, I realized that I knew that I was gonna go school play ball somewhere. Right. Yeah, I was one of them. I didn't care where I went because my mom always said, either you gonna work or you gonna go to school. Right. That's it. So when she told me that, I said, Well, school gonna be here for me. So I started working towards going somewhere to play school ball. That's dope right there. And that was uh so that that Griffin game you mentioned, what grade was that in? That was my summer. So, so, so we played them. We had them. We played them. 10th, 11th grade, 12th, we played them twice a year. Okay. Was that one of the toughest players you ever played against? Yes, sir. If I had to ask you, like, who's the toughest player you ever played against? Yeah, so, you know, I, I guess I got to start smelling myself. So, 11th grade, you ever played them again. Right. And I had 25, so he had a fast break, and Coach Hill said, Take a charge. I said, Man, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> these That's people, the world, man. We played that series on the end, and I said, These people at the game, you think I'm going to take a charge? And he already dumped those two, three right. men. I just moved out the way. <laughs> he brought my foot out of the game too. I was just talking about that. Uh, yeah, my first year in college, I was out with the basketball team, and I got terrified because I watched them do charge drills thirty no minutes joke. straight. I just stand there thirty straight. minutes straight. These guys lined up, and the other guy, your team split in half. You got to stand wow. there while, and if you fall early, do it again. Do it again. Yep. Dude, then you cheat me. Take the charge. Take, take the charge from Dunny Flemston and Hancock. <laughs> you, know, you take one from Dunny, no problem. I'll take one and holler. Right. And, and, and my mom used to say, why are you holler so much? I said, the referee say, if you holler, yeah, something wrong. wrong. So right. you got to hold, you, you hold them from the peanuts and just holler. <laughs> but Hancock jumping over. Oh, yeah, yeah, he had his ball back. He's going to play. He's yeah, going to clean. We had center. He was, our center was a uh, jump. Fletcher probably about about six, 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 seven. Yeah, that's terrifying. And man. Hancock jumped over him. The referee just jumped over. The first time he took the charge, the referee called charge, but Hancock didn't stop him. Dumped on him, say he couldn't do it. stretch, though. I'm yeah. talking about put him in everybody. Woo! When the guard stand up. <laughs> Woo! Oh. oh, man. And that's so dangerous yeah, now because you got social media. You get dumped yeah. like that, and that's going straight to the ground. It's worse than a post it's on. <laughs> so, so this is how this is how I'm thinking, like, when this was going on, I know you're a little bit older than we are. But we catch it through the newspaper. So you remember how big it was yeah. for, for growing up. If you make the, don't mess around, make the, the, the merry other day to jump. Oh, you man. make the newspaper. So on Friday, you remember, even after when we started playing out there, on Friday or Saturday morning, you got to go back through and they used to put everybody's stats in the cities. Mm -hmm. Who right. Yeah. 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 Who went off. Yeah. So, so you, you have a lot of experience or you have yeah. all. Yeah. I know the older we got, my mom kept some of our uh yeah, you know, little clip you know, little little yeah, I got a little book that, that was that was big. Uh I think it was who sponsored it was uh, Ross Street Baptist Church. Okay. So uh -huh. we had a pet rally on Fridays. You know, they give it the play of the week, play of the month. And right. I think the first time I got it, uh newspaper there and everything. So uh when they called my name, I'm like, you know, everybody stood up, I'm saying, Oh, okay, you know. Yeah. I actually did something that people appreciate. Yeah. And I think that's what growing up little I didn't have. Okay. I have a lot of people that say, oh, you did good. My mom didn't kill my mom. I said, okay. You know? Yeah. I, I scold this mom. I said, okay. You know? I'm going to tell you something, man. Because this, <laughs> this might just be coming out with a, you had to show enough love the game. To be, if nobody really congratulating you like that and you say you're by yourself. And then you don't play it all that time. And then to have some success early, yeah. early on and continue. Yeah. But that's something. I'm trying to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to teach you that now. They, they are. It's a, it's a whole culture of people that live for that reward. And yeah. if they don't get the reward, they don't get yeah, yeah, quit. So, so to find people, them. like, I think you, you're in a prime position to be able to teach kids to play through, reward or not, you know, play through it and, and do 100%, leave everything out there. Yeah, you got but, to, Murray. You, you, you got to, because uh, I, I think my biggest thing was uh, my mama worked two jobs for us. Oh, wow. So... Growing up, I didn't, she didn't make me eat no vegetables. I didn't have any vegetables. But mama say, uh, when she cooked, she had to go to work at night. So she put food up at 5 o'clock every day. So right. when she put food up, you can't go in and eat. So right. I eat me a sandwich. But uh, I just, basketball just kept me by myself, you know. Everybody else was throwing rock, them dirt bombs. They throwing dirt bombs. <laughs> they throwing dirt bombs in the car. They had a little truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, sir. I they throwing dirt bombs in the car. See, the project. Came this way, you, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, this way, you that. go that way. I thought that was just us, bro. No, this time behind the thing is throwing it in cars. Man, we throw them at each other. Oh, y'all are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we throw them at each other. We throw them like, he, every time we back, what, 20 feet yeah. away? And you just, boom, you zoom them. Yeah. Man. Oh, we were in the country. Good times, though, man. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. 
I think I got hit one of them and it was a rock. <laughs> I said, well, I thought it was, I thought it was dirt, but it was a rock. I still got a right between my eyes. I still got an engine for the rest of the getting hit with a rock. No, I, I was seeing wow. stars for about 10 minutes. And I couldn't cry. And it's just, yeah, I, I'll never forget. Every time I look in the mirror, I, got, I get reminded. Yeah, I got hit. Yeah, that's crazy. Similar thing. Yeah, it's, in the it's, that's why I like about these stories. You get to connect even more because you understand, like, no matter where you're from, like, we all go through similar, oh, yeah, similar yeah. struggles. Different families, yeah. situations, but we, we still. Come and I try to stay at my mom's house because, you know, she working two jobs, a lot yeah, of yeah, stuff yeah. on her. So, me playing basketball, she ain't got to worry about me. Where right. he at? She's like, he outside playing yeah, basketball, though. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, don't say like you was a bad kid, though. No, no, I didn't really hear really nothing that, that said you was a bad kid. No, 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 no. We stay rooted to the sport. We stay grounded. We get our strength from above. We stay rooted. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. We get our strength from above. We stay rooted. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. We get our strength from above. We stay rooted. Rooted. Stay rooted. We stay rooted. We stay rooted in love. In love. We stay rooted.